Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, which you guys can call me Superior, bringing you uh, a record that beat my old record, at least my personal record. Um, my old record was 11 chem in one game, and in this game, I actually managed to get 12 chem strikes in one game. And I honestly, I didn't really want to bring you guys that much more hardcore spawn trapping like this, but there were so many requests to see this video and this gameplay on my YouTube channel that uh, I just had to upload it. I know um, some of you guys don't like this, and feel free to click off the video right now. Um, leave a dislike, whatever you want to do, it's fine with me. But so many people wanted to see this video, wanted to see this gameplay um, that I just, you know, couldn't resist uploading it. And I didn't want to let all of the people that asked for it down. So here's the gameplay. Um, this gameplay was nearly flawless. You know, during the 11 chem strike gameplay, I died on so many like 17 plus gun streaks and didn't get a chem strike. And in this gameplay, I didn't die on a single streak. But the team I was playing with was pretty good, but it wasn't like the normal god squad of just amazing, just mind blowing players that I'm normally playing with. Uh, whenever I get my other, when I got like the 11 chem strikes or 434 kills, whatever it may have been, um, this squad wasn't, um, I don't know, we weren't really trying to trap this gameplay, like, don't get me wrong, these were amazing players I was playing with, but this, this squad, we weren't trying to, like, break a world record gameplay, we were just kind of like, we were just kind of playing and, you know, ended up getting this map, we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll try and set up the spawn trap, if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't, so we ended up getting this gameplay, so, um, it could have, I think that if we were, would have been, like, more consciously trying to set up the trap we could have made the game go a lot longer and I could have got 13 or 14 or maybe even 15 chem strikes if we would have um, you know been trying to trap harder but you know I'm not really complaining I did get 12 chem strikes in one game and I did get 318 kills uh, you'll see that in the final scoreboard at the end of the game so um, you know I'm not really complaining 12 chems is awesome it's never been done before um, but then again it is spawn trapping so it takes little to no skill it's just purely for entertainment purposes it's not really like when I say it's like nine chems or whatever is a world record it's I don't know spawn trapping doesn't really count for much I know that and you know that so um yeah, but it is a lot of fun to do. Like, this is a pretty simple spawn trap to set up. Uh, you just have someone at your home flag. You have someone in the tube, someone on the right side of the map, and someone on the left side. And then you spawn trap, like, at the spot I'm at. So if you guys ever want to set this up with your friends, um, or you guys are just looking for something fun to do, go ahead and try and set it up. It is pretty easy. However, you do need an extremely cooperative team. Um, for example, I'd rather have a decent player that really knows how to listen and will follow your instructions um, over a player that's good. But just does his own thing because that, you know, really doesn't help the team. And in this, this probably takes more teamwork than like, I don't know, trying to strategically win a dom match or search and destroy game or whatever. Because this is really like, it, it really depends on how your team performs and how everyone's individual performance works. Because if one person dies at their spot, like let's say the person on the right dies, that opens up the right side spawn. So they're not going to be spawning where I'm shooting. They're going to be spawning on the right side because nobody's there so um it is really a lot of teamwork and in all these spawn trapping gameplays that i've uploaded in the past week or two have really been a hundred and ten percent like my team um cooperating communicating everything like that and just like five percent aiming down sight holding the trigger which really isn't that hard to do um but however there's a little bit of like you need to have decent timing like on to know when to reload and stuff like that but really after two games of spawn trapping pretty much anyone can do it uh unless you know, you don't have fingers, so you can't pull the trigger. I don't know. Um, but it is fun gameplay. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> like, this is like, um, I knew right when right when we started doing this Dom Trap, I got nine chems in one game, like the very first game I tried it. And I was so freaking out about that. But what I didn't realize is, like, if that was the first game, if the very first game I did this trap, I got nine chems. Like, imagine what gameplays we'll have in like a week or two weeks, you know, after we've learned the trap, after we've perfected it, and after we know exactly how to do it. And now I think we've pretty much mastered it, and, um, you know, there's not really too much point in doing it anymore because obviously we've gotten 12 chem strikes, you know, 400 plus kills, and I think I'm going to be going for a 500 plus here in the next two days. Uh, 500 plus is really just like uncomprehendable or whatever the word is and I think the most kills ever gotten in Call of Duty was like 510 and I think I'm going to be trying to break to that record and um, there's really not a lot that goes into it or no there is a lot to go in it because one we need a god squad we need a squad of players that know what they're doing we need a squad of amazing players um, cooperative players smart players and uh, most importantly the biggest factor is we need enemies that don't leave the game. It is so hard to get 500 plus kills. There's so many games when I would have got 500 plus kills 
if the enemies wouldn't leave because everyone leaves the game and then it forfeits, which is completely understandable. It's not like I can be mad at them for leaving. I mean, I would probably leave the game too if I couldn't even take a step out of my spawn before I died. So it is understandable, but I mean, eventually we're going to get that perfect lobby of kids that don't leave and we'll be able to get the 500 plus, maybe even a 600 plus if they don't leave. Um, I don't know. You know, really anything is possible if you get if you get a bunch of idiots on the other team that don't really know what they're doing. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I didn't really want to upload another spawn trapping gameplay, but so many people requested it that I just couldn't resist it and I had to do it. So uh, once once again, this gameplay was gotten on my live stream, twitch.tv slash I'm so superior. Feel free to go check that out. Link for that will be down in the description. Also, go follow me on Twitter at so superior. Link for that will also be down in the description. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Drop a comment down below letting me know what gameplays you guys want to see from me. And other than that, have a fantastic day, everybody. I am out.